guys. How's it going? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today, tonight, we have a movie review. Haven't done one in a little while. I just got done watching it. It's actually a mini series. And it's called King Solomon's Minds. And it came out in 2004. And as usual, I do have my handy dandy trusty notes. I'm not going to remember all this stuff. And I just got done watching it. Just kind of finished writing a few things down. <clears throat> so kind of forgive me if things kind of get all over the place. But I'm just going to give you a basic outline of this mini-series. And just give you kind of my thoughts on it. The cast includes... And forgive me if I butcher any names. If you've watched my reviews, you know I can't say people's names. One of these days I might. I don't know. The cast includes Patrick Swayze as Alan Quarterman. Allison Duty as Elizabeth Maitland. Roy Marston as Captain Good. 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 Whew. I'm bad. John Standing as Dr. Sam Maitland. Gavin Hood as Bruce McNabb. Nick Borain or Boran or as Ivan Flickov. Fliku Flick Flickov. Whatever. And there's a whole lot more in there. That's just some of your basic ones there. That I'm gonna mention. Let's start over here, guys, and I'm going to, like I said, I'm probably going to be all over the place, and I'm going to try not to give any spoilers, so, yeah. Um, let's see. The story is, basically, it's a story about a quest for a hidden treasure in King Solomon's Mines. It's based on H. Ryder Haggard's. Timeless Tale. I think there was a movie about it many, 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 many years before. Many, many. I believe. Um, overall, we have a decent but familiar story. A decent cast of characters. Good guys, bad guys, guns, adventure, a sexy woman... Never go wrong with a sexy woman. And a couple of good fight scenes. Some pretty good fight scenes in there. And some gunplay. It's good stuff. Uh, if you have about three hours or so, uh, it's it's uh, worth a watch. If you can fit it in your time schedule. And like I said, I'm going to probably be all over the place here. I didn't write stuff down in order. I was just kind of out there doing things. We're going to start off number one. The very first thing you're going to see, I'm not going to give any real big details away, but poachers suck. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. Okay? You have your basic story that you've seen a dozen times. One thing I did notice about the movie, uh, until more towards the end, is everyone looked really clean. Like, all the time. Uh, eventually, um, Elizabeth... Uh, Maitland, uh, played by Allison Duty, uh, she ends up looking worse for wear than most of the other people. And did you know that she played Elsa in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? And she actually looks better in this, in 2004. She looks pretty friggin' hot. I never thought she looked hot in The Last Crusade, personally. She looks really good in this. So it is a typical story. Every scene you've seen before. Uh, the cinematography, it's good. I thought it was very well done, actually. it You can tell it's not a real low-budget movie. Uh, or miniseries, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it a movie. Um, I think, uh, for the most part, everything looked good. The scenery was good and believable. Um, there's... Uh, decent characters that you're going to end up liking and caring for, which is good. Uh, which is what a lot of movies don't have. And the villains do a decent job 
at making you think they have the upper hand and they do a good job at uh, being kind of villains and doing their thing. Um, again, it, it, it's actually okay. It didn't bring anything new, but it's well done. Um, and another thing, I'm very surprised, and I'm going to not give anything away uh, as far as names or anything, but I'm very surprised that they had some casualties in here. Um, it, it doesn't come off as a super hardcore serious movie, so I wasn't real sure how that would play out, but there are some casualties along the way. Um, but of course, uh, and, and it is from some gunfights. And, and and I was kind of surprised, but then I'm like, uh, no, this is 2004. This is before everybody went all sissy-fied and, and uh, don't believe in all that and the whole gun thing. So I was pretty uh, surprised with some of that. Also, this movie has uh, tribes people in it. You know, Ooga Booga tribes people. God, is that racist? It probably is in 2020. The only thing I think of whenever I see tribes like that is Ace Ventura When Nature Calls. Yes, that's one of the most brilliant movies ever made. I love it. Incredible movie. And, uh, for me, one of the coolest characters in the movie, oddly enough, was uh, the tribe's person, uh, the witch doctor, uh, played by a lady. Um, I would read her name, but there's no reason for me to even try. I didn't even write it down, because it's like, it's a word. Uh, even her character, I can't pronounce. Her character is F-O-U-L-A-T-A, -A, Falada, maybe, or something like that. And her real name is Nikishi Shani Mand Mandunzo. Something like that. Anyway, normally, you know, you, I, don't, I wouldn't really pay that much attention to a character like that, really. But she does a good job in here. Uh, they actually give her a little bit of screen time. Which is pretty cool for that type of a character, in my opinion. So I thought that was really one of the coolest parts of the movie. I was kind of surprised... That really, uh, about the last 13 minutes of the of the show is when they really start getting into the mine and stuff. So, you know, there's one little part in, in midway where they find something, but really, uh, you don't find you don't they don't do the uh, King Solomon's mine until the end. So anyway. And one thing I noticed, you know how these movies always have booby traps. But what I noticed with the booby traps is a lot of them go off way too soon. Like, uh, they'll be moving ahead or something will be happening. Let's say some, there's some stuff happening and it's making the traps go off. But it's like, okay, but we got, like, you know, this distance before it. You know, it goes off here and I'm still back here. So, the booby traps uh, could have been done a little better. Maybe a little bit closer timing to them. Um, and there's a final fight in here. Uh, in King Solomon's Mine. I'm, just, I, I'm not giving away too much here. But there is a final fight. And it's actually a pretty good little fight. Uh, the problem is is it's dark in there and you can't really see it well enough but that's understandable since it's in a mine but uh, I was wanting to kind of see a little bit more of the fight because it's, it's a pretty decent fight and there's some things happening so that was interesting uh, and let's face it guys <coughs> these types of movies are always going to get compared to the Indiana Jones movies and there's a lot of them out there from low budget to Hollywood blockbuster and they're all going to get compared to the Indiana Jones films uh, no matter if you're 10 years old or 100 years old 
the Indy, the Indiana Jones films are just the staple of adventure type films like this. And so it's always they're always going to be compared to some degree. All right. So anyways, guys, what do I think of the movie? The mini series? I think it's pretty decent. I think if you have a good 3 hours to to spend on it, watch it. I found it on YouTube. It's uh, in two parts. It's a two-part mini series. Um it's worth a watch if you like those kind of movies. And it has Patrick Swayze in it if you like him. Of course, I like him from uh, uh, Red Dawn and uh, Ghost Was Okay and uh, Roadhouse and Dirty Dancing. And he's been in a bunch of other different things. But those are mostly what I know him from. So, uh, yeah, anyways. I'm going to give this little mini series here. I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5. I thought it was pretty good. It's something I'd probably watch again. You know, it wasn't like crazy over the top or anything, but it was decent, you know. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I hope you enjoyed the little thoughts and review here on this. I got many more. You can go check them out. I have other videos of other things you can go check out as well. Guys, don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, even when reviewing a mini-series on television. Yes, you can still get up, get out, get rad, do it to it when you do that. Then go watch that movie, guys. We'll see you later.